What is up YouTube? In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys why it's worth it to do YouTube and how I grew my channel from 100 subscribers literally almost a year ago to 1600 now, almost 1700. Now, first thing I'm going to do is show you guys through my experience, personal experience, um, how I got there. I'm also going to be giving you guys tips and uh, some helpful uh just encouragement if you're sitting there at a struggling point in your YouTube career. Now, my first tip to anyone who is trying to start a YouTube channel or you've had the idea of starting one and you feel like you really need to start one, my first tip is just get started. Just get started, guys. From my personal experience, I remember I was just sitting behind my screen and I was sitting here as a gamer after work every single day of my life. I'm always gaming, right? And I was like, you know what? I should just start recording. I know it sounds simple like that, but that's literally what happened when in my room, I was like sitting there I, and I was like, I should start recording my content. It made my, it would make my day a little more, you know, exciting. Cause it was a little boring playing the same game every day. I'm just gonna start recording. So I downloaded some software, man. And I literally just started recording. I started putting shorts on my, uh, on my channel, like right off the bat, I started putting shorts. Now I wasn't doing long-term videos at this point. It was just shorts, but those first shorts got me to a hundred subscribers. I got a hundred subs. Now it didn't take, it took like, let, I'm going to be honest, like 20 to 30 shorts to get there, but I just got started pretty much. I just started recording. I got to a hundred subscribers, guys. I don't know where I got this comment, this random comment on like a, one of my shorts. I was saying you should make long-term long form content. And I was honestly, I was a little bit like nervous at first. Cause like long form content would mean a lot of recording and a lot of talking and a lot of communication to the audience. And I'm not very good at talking to begin with. But I decided to put my first long uh, video out and I'm not gonna lie, the editing was terrible. I don't even think I edited it. I was just like, I recorded an hour and a half of me just trying to commentate literally an hour and a half, which is hard. It's hard for me just to even talk 10 minutes. So I put my first video out and it got like 40 to 50 views. And I was like, it kind of hit hard because I was like, I was hoping to get like a lot of views because I was pretty excited to go into it. Uh, but I did get one comment on the video that was like they that liked the video and I was like I'm gonna make another one. So I made another one and then another one man and I just after like five or six videos um I was still getting the same amount of views and then I had this one random video that by the way had a terrible thumbnail. I don't even remember what title was, I'll have to look it up. It was probably a pretty bad title. Like it it was like a year ago. It got a random two thousand like twenty two hundred views. And I was like I don't even know why they write in the video. The, the editing was terrible. The commentary was terrible. But 2,200 video people saw that video. And I got like 30 likes. Uh, now at this point I had around 200 to 300 subscribers. But then I just kept putting in the work. I kept after work every day. I would come here, start recording, edit the video. I did this for months on months on months. Until I eventually hit 500 subscribers. And... By then, I was starting to get better at my like editing, and I was getting used to talking on the camera. Um, and I started like seeing a habit of just making videos every day. I just couldn't go a day without making a video because that's what I wanted to do after work. It created excitement for me. And so I hit 500 subscribers about beginning of this year. I was at 500 subs. It took me like, I think like six to seven months to get there. But. Um, I actually did get monetized on my channel because I had enough watch hours. So that was a huge encouragement for me. I wasn't getting paid through like like the ads or anything yet. That's not until you get to a thousand subscribers and like four thousand watch hours. But it still was an encouragement for me to, to keep grinding. So I kept grinding and grinding and then eventually I hit a thousand subscribers uh around late June. I think late May to early June. I hit a thousand subs, man. And that's when my channel just pretty much blew up in a way. Blown up. I know blow up is like, you think like 20,000 subscribers. No, blown up for me is like 200 subscribers a month. That's how much I've been averaging this past two or three months. And now I'm at 1,600 subs. And my videos are averaging at least between 1,000 and like 3,000 views. Now I haven't had a video just crazy pop off in a minute. So uh, it's been just consistent. But um, I'm now currently at 1,600, 1,700 subscribers after pretty much a little over a year of doing gaming on YouTube. And honestly, I'm not done here. I'm gonna keep going for the next five, 10 years. But that is my personal experience growing a YouTube channel. So for anyone that's like 
again trying to look into creating your gaming youtube channel just go for it that's all i guess that's my first tip just go for it um the second tip i want to give you guys is don't let the haters you know make you quit that's all i gotta say do not let the haters make you quit because only reason you're getting haters is because they're jealous of your success that's literally the only reason they're commenting hate towards your channel someone doesn't want to see someone else on the screen succeeding at making videos for people to watch they just it just they just don't even the biggest youtubers out there definitely the biggest youtubers out there get the most hate because someone doesn't like seeing someone someone else's success this world is full of hate unfortunately so if you're going to be a youtuber you have to be ready to get hated on but what you what you should do with that hate is turn it into energy to keep making videos encouragement that's what i do whenever i get hate i'm just like i'm ready bro i'm ready to keep going i'm about to rub this next video in their face bro like in their face like it, it just encourages me so whenever i get hate it just encourages me to keep going so if you ever get hate don't let it put you down keep making videos the hate is actually a good thing because that means your channel is starting to get they're trying they're starting to see success in your channel so let the haters hate that's all i gotta say um another tip man um just be consistent consistency is key if you want your youtube channel to grow now don't do it i if you like if you're not into like daily videos you don't have to do daily videos um which because yeah eventually if you do daily videos they will burn you out i have had a point in my youtube channel youtube career so far where i did go like literally like three or four weeks without making a video because i was just burnt out i was in daily videos for like two like a couple months straight i'm pretty sure and it just it started hitting me i'm not gonna lie after working seven to like three o'clock every single day and coming here and recording every single day it started burning me out so if you're not into the daily stuff you don't have to be daily to be consistent you could be a weekly video you could be every other day video only thing you have to do is be consistent with your content because when you see when those people show up to see your your video and they see that there's a there's a there's your consistent like videos coming out every other day they're gonna sub because they're excited for the next video they're excited for it to continue seeing how your youtube youtube channel grows um so stay consistent if you're trying to grow a youtube channel another thing you should be doing with your life and your youtube channel is making goals you need to make goals if you don't set a goal for your youtube channel you're just gonna not have there won't be that energy to keep going if you set a goal like 100 subs by this time 500 subs by this time a thousand subs by this time you're not gonna have the energy and ex the same excitement you had when you start beginning the journey because with goals once you hit that goal it creates even a, like a further burst of energy to keep going so you need to set goals if you want to be successful on youtube all right goals are super important um i set the goals when i first started channels like i just told you guys i still have a goal right now my main goal for this channel is to eventually become a full-time youtuber um start making enough money to live off without working a nine to five job that's just that's literally my goal for this channel now that's definitely f like i don't know how long away from here could be five years from now but at the end of the day i always have a goal another thing for goals you don't want you don't want to set your goal too high because if it's taking you too long to get to that goal again you're gonna get burnt out and you're gonna get depressed and it's gonna make you not want to make youtube videos so make your goals like somewhat reachable like right like where you can reach them in like a few months not like mr beast kind of goal don't just, don't set that as your goal because you're not gonna want to make videos after a couple months i just guess i'm just gonna say that but yeah um yeah that's pretty much it for the video um i'm just gonna say like my experience on youtube has been amazing I've like it's definitely helped me grow in a lot of areas in my life as I in this last year so um I would just say just hop on YouTube train grind at it man don't give up don't let that don't let the haters get to you um look to other people around you for encouragement friends and family I have to do that too at times when I'm in a down point in the career and also, I hope you guys...
become successful in your YouTube channel, no matter how long it takes. If I can get to 1,600 subscribers just playing games, I know you guys can too. So that's my encouragement to you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to don't forget to like. And if you're interested in uh MMORPG games, which is what I do, um, hit that sub button. I'll see you guys in the next video. See you guys.